Hey guys, welcome to What To Do Wednesday, where I take a request from one of you guys and I make the video happen. I read a few comments asking what's in your makeup bag and then one jumped out at me saying, what is in your travel makeup bag? And I've been traveling a ton this year. I feel like I'm constantly trying to perfect how to pack, how to pack smart, how to have everything I need without feeling like frantic and overloaded, like I brought too much stuff or not enough. And I feel like I have a couple of tips to share with you guys and I wanted to show you what I am packing this week as I am traveling yet again. I'm gonna be at VidCon. I am so excited, it's my first time going to VidCon. So I'm gonna be staying in Anaheim. It's a little over an hour away from where I live. So I'm gonna be hoteling it up there so that I don't have to fight traffic and all that craziness. So I will be at VidCon this year. I'm actually going to be at the YouTube booth on Saturday, I believe at one o'clock. I'll leave info in the info box below. If you wanna stop by and say hi, that'd be awesome. But let's take a peek at what I'm bringing and why. And hopefully this inspires you when you're packing for any future travel that you might have. So I'm taking a primer. This is Tarte's Amazonian Clay Primer, love it. I'm taking a foundation, obviously. This is the Magic Nude Liquid Powder. I'm gonna be reviewing this tomorrow, so you wanna stay tuned for that. I'm going to be taking a good concealer. This is the Fit Me from Maybelline concealer. Love it. I'm going to be taking a concealer that matches my face in case a big blemish comes out or I have redness and I need something a little more heavy to conceal for my face skin, not my under eyes. That's a mistake a lot of women make. You want something brightening for your under eye area, but you don't necessarily want to brighten a zit. So keep a concealer that matches your face. That's a great tip. I'm bringing an eye primer with me. This is from The Balm. This is Put a Lid On. On it love it I'm grabbing a powder that is a pressed powder I love loose powder at home I don't like traveling with it so much so I'm gonna grab this foundation powder from it cosmetics it's the celebration foundation in medium beige for touch-ups, I'm obsessed with the Urban Decay D-Slick Setting Powder. This really doesn't even stay in my makeup bag. This has a permanent home in my purse. I'm taking Tarte's Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Wear Blush in Peaceful, beautiful coral shade. Faux Tan from Bare Essentials. This is kind of shimmery, kind of not. You can contour or you can just give an overall bronze look to the face. Uh, and this is like the travel little miniature version, so save some space there. From Physicians Formula, this is great for the eyes or the face. This is the Shimmer Strips in Riviera Strip slash Sand Bronzer. Love it. I'm bringing a matte shadow quad. Kind of boring, but you need something basic to kind of amp up any look you're going to do, whether it's natural or more intense. This is the Canyon Classics Physicians Formula, five, six bucks at the drugstore. Love it. This is from MAC. This is from the Temperature Rising Collection. I have a tutorial here on YouTube. I'll link below on this guy. You can do so much with this. Love the shades in here. Again, natural to more intense, which is what I go for when I pack my stuff. I'm gonna bring my nude liner from Rimmel. This is a waterproof coal pencil that you can rim the eyes with. I have it on right now, three, four bucks. Uh, awesome, awesome stuff. I'm bringing a brown liner. This is a waterproof liner from Physicians Formula, love it. I'm gonna pack a chubbier waterproof pencil in black. This way I could smoke out an eye or apply it with a brush and have a more precise line. This is from Sephora. This is the Jumbo Pencil. It's a waterproof, awesome pencil. For my brows, I'm bringing something that has a spoolie on one end and a pencil on the other, fantastic. This is from It Cosmetics. It's a universal color, so this is great for anyone. For my lashes, I'm gonna go with something waterproof because I don't want smudges or flakes or anything like that when I'm on the go traveling. This is Lash Potion from Revlon, the Grow Luscious, beautiful packaging here, but aside from the package, it is a great mascara. I'm grabbing a beautiful pink kind of neutral lip gloss from IT Cosmetics. This is in Pretty in Pink. I'm also grabbing a waterproof nude liner stain pencil from IT Cosmetics. You don't have to sharpen this puppy, it just kind of twists up automatically. This is in nude light medium. My favorite lipstick right now, a lot of you guys have been asking. This is from Illamasqua. This is in Sonnet. It's that beautiful kind of corally shade that you've seen me wear in a few videos. This is a dupe for the P2 shade that I've been wearing a lot. I was on the hunt for something corally and this is... Uh, amazing and natural and very summery so I'm gonna bring that as my lipstick and then random little extras that I'm bringing makeup setting spray I have it designated in kind of a neon -y pink bottle so I know exactly what it is this is the D slick from Urban Decay 
I'm bringing my tea tree oil spray. I just did a DIY on my Tip Tuesday, super simple, on how to make this and why it's good and what you can use it for. So I've got that here. I have some hand sanitizer. You always want to clean your hands before applying makeup, and it's just great to travel with in your makeup bag. I'm grabbing some hairspray. This is a little sample that I got at Sephora, like my 100-point sample thingamajig, and I'm going to spray this on a spoolie to set my brows so that they just stay completely in place all day. And of course some blotting sheets to jam in my purse in case I get a little bit oily throughout the day. And then I always like to take a little teeny tiny pair of tweezers just to keep in my makeup bag in case I have any emergencies where I need to pluck something or, you know, tweezers are always great to have on hand. Brushes are very important to me, so I am bringing the Duo Fiber Powder Blush Brush, the F15 from Sigma. I love this for applying blush. It just makes everything look really, really natural. I am bringing the powder blush brush, the F10. I've been using this for bronzer because I haven't wanted to contour a whole heck of a lot lately, so I'm bringing that. I am bringing this highlighter brush. This is the F35. Love this. Absolutely one of my favorite brushes. I am also bringing from IT Cosmetics. This is, I don't know what this is called, but this goes with that powder that I showed. And it's not something that you'd use with liquid products, but this just buffs powder products on your face so beautifully. I love it. And then for eyes, I am bringing a short shader brush. This is the E20. What's great about this is I can take that black chubby pencil and I can kind of smoke out the lash line to take a daytime look to evening. I can wet this with my makeup setting spray, go into maybe that green or that brown color from the matte quad, you know, do the same thing, line out my eyes, and this just helps your makeup to have more options even though I only packed a little bit. I have two blending brushes here, two tapered brushes. Uh, one is the tapered blending, the E35, and then just the blending brush, the E25. These are my two new absolute favorite, favorite brushes. I just feel like my eyeshadow is applying so much prettier lately, and I absolutely have to say it's because of these two right here. I use the slightly smaller, more tapered one for really in the crease, and then I kind of buff everything out with the slightly larger blending, and it just creates a really pretty look. I also love the small tapered blending, which I really get out in that little corner here, and it allows me to have more control where I'm actually placing the product. So I'm like the last person to try Sigma brushes, but I have to say I am really impressed. I have been using them a ton, and these are what I am packing with me on my trip this week. So, I wanted to kind of go through and tell you guys what I would do for different scenarios as far as packing my makeup and what I think. What I'm holding in my hands right here, this is my three minute makeup out the door, like I just woke up, I wanna quickly jump out of bed, go to breakfast, not fuss with doing the whole like, oh, I'm gonna spend an hour getting ready type of a thing. For starters, a little bit of concealer under the eye, dab it under the eye, get rid of dark circles, that's like one thing that will make you look pulled together immediately. Then go to a powder foundation. I would just take this brush right here all over the face and feel like I have a good amount of coverage, but I don't look too heavy. There's no fuss in misblending it. It's gonna look beautiful and perfect in two seconds. Throw on some blush. Great way just to wake up the whole face, look more alive, and that takes two seconds. From there, I would sweep a little bit of highlighter with that tapered highlighter brush just on the cheekbones, and then take your fingertips in here. These are super pigmented. I would press it along the eyes, maybe on the inner corner to kind of brighten and awaken things. I would maybe fill in my brows really just, you know, not crazy, not overly defined, just to kind of fill them in a little bit so they don't look totally sparse. Throw on a little bit of mascara, some gloss, and I would be out the door and pulled together and looking good enough that I would be confident to go anywhere. So that can be from breakfast to the pool to shopping to whatever you're going to be doing. That would be a nice, easy, easy, super fast daytime look. By the way, everything you see on my face right now is from what I packed. I kind of wanted to play around and show you guys the look that I could come up with for a natural look on the go. I really feel like when you're traveling, this is not the time to experiment with crazy colors. Unless you have a big event and you've planned something that you want to do really dramatically, I would say stick to neutral products and stick to your favorites that you know work, that are long wearing, that are going to get the job done. If I wanted to take this look to a more dramatic place, easy as can be, a black liner will get you really far. You can line the waterline, you can smudge this on the top lash line, and then take a shadow, press it into your eyelid, and then take one of your more, you know, 
what I like to call boring shadows that are like the magic of every makeup look and blend out the crease with something really neutral like this. Emphasize the corner if you want with the darker neutral matte shade here and just layer your products on. So everything I have here has purpose. I wanted, you know, plan A, easy three minute makeup, plan B, kind of what I have on my face right now and then you know, plan C is if I have a big event to go to in the evening where I want to look more glamorous, I can totally amp it up with a little bit of intensity from uh, the colors and how I apply them. I do want to mention how important it is when you travel to have a couple of good primers and a makeup setting spray. This will take whatever look you decide to do uh, to have longevity. So if you're at a theme park or you're around water, humidity, if you want something that's gonna last, it's in a little bit of prep work. Whether you have a light makeup look or a more dramatic makeup look, use a primer on the face before foundation, use a primer on the lids before applying shadow, and set everything with a makeup setting spray. These are like hairspray for your face. There are so many different companies that have setting sprays. I think even Victoria's Secret now has a setting spray. ELF has a great setting spray. This is from Urban Decay, Scandinavia. I mean, they're out there everywhere, so try them. Find out what works for you, what feels good for your skin, and lock it all into place because who wants to fuss with their makeup when you're on vacation having a great time? No one. All right, so I'm gonna get back to packing. I hope this inspires you when you're packing your own makeup bag, and be sure to leave comments letting me know what to do next Wednesday, what you wanna see. I'm loving this. Thank you guys for being so supportive and for liking this whole new what to do, what not, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.